Hey eBayers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thanks for coming back for another video. And I am starting something new. I should say we are starting something new. In my Facebook group, we have started a new monthly thread called eBay Knows No Seasons. And what we're doing here is posting any items that sell that are for a holiday outside of the current season. So in order to help you understand that anything can sell at any time and I think a lot of you out there whether you're new to this or not are letting your assumptions about what people will buy at a certain time of year interfere with your business and it's basically you're getting in your own way because you think that a particular seasonal item won't sell so you don't even list it so this monthly thread and playlist will help open your eyes to what is possible because this is what other people are doing. These sales are happening and it's not just um, somebody telling you, yeah, you should list that. This is the proof to help convince you to get those items listed because they can sell at any time. So here we are on my Facebook group. If you're not a member of that, the link is below the video. and. Stephanie starts it every month and explains what it is and so in January we're looking for things that are not Valentine's Day because that that would make more sense Valentine's Day is the next holiday on the calendar so it would make sense for those to sell in January so we are showcasing any sales from other holidays that sellers have had during January so we're going to go through this Money Making Monday style so you can see what these items are, when they sold, how much they sold for, all of that information to help you make better decisions about what to buy for resale. And obviously if you have unlisted items, you need to get them listed because unlisted items can't sell. So we're going to start with Kathleen. Found this at Goodwill Outlet, so paid less than 50 cents, sold within a couple of days for full asking price of $27.99 on December 30th. So this is a Christmas item that sold after Christmas. And it is a Harry Potter 2000 Christmas ornament. She's got it's new in the package. Sold for basically 28 bucks plus shipping. So a Christmas ornament that sold on December 30th. Obviously someone collects this stuff. They're always looking for it, uh, whatever reason. So if you think that Christmas does not sell all year long, it certainly does. All right, we've got KC. Sold this on December 31st after having it listed nearly all summer. It definitely seems more like a summer item to me. So let's go see what this is. And what did he say? Paid $30 at a garage sale. It is a tennis racket that sold on New Year's Eve. So let's see, did he sell it for $100? Yep, sold for $100. And it seems like a summer item, but it sold on New Year's Eve. Okay, George Kelly sold this Christmas bowl today, January 1st. And let's see what it is. Oh great, another word I have to try to pronounce. Waitcherbotch? Help me out with that one. I've never seen that word, so... It's a West Germany Red Christmas Tree Large Serving Bowl. Looks ceramic. Um, anyway, I'm not going to go through and read the whole listing. If you want to go check that out, you can. But it sold on January 1st, and it is a Christmas item. He didn't say how much he paid for it. Okay, Helen found at Goodwill for $4. Took about six weeks, but sold for $12 on December 30th. Sent to Minnesota. Pretty sure it's not summer there right now. So here's her item. It is a Victoria's Secret swimsuit top. And hey, maybe that person in Minnesota is going on a trip to the beach. Or uh, maybe they go to the tanning bed and they want to wear that or whatever reason we don't know only way to know is to ask them but swimwear selling in December and getting shipped to Minnesota um, who would have thought that and 
if you assume that these things don't happen, then your assumptions are limiting you in your business, which is part of the reason I wanted to do this video series is to show you you've got to put your own assumptions aside and be open to whatever could happen. All right, Cynthia paid a dollar at a garage sale, took offer of $15, had him listed a few months on December 28th. I had someone purchase him early in December, then asked to cancel order, which I did, but I forgot to get him relisted until right, right before Christmas. All right, so somebody bought it. They didn't pay or cancel the order. She listed it again after Christmas, and this is a Frosty the Snowman item animated plush singing doll and there he is who would have thought that a plush Christmas themed item would sell after Christmas but it did and she took an offer of $15 on that okay Jamie bought last Christmas for less than a dollar sold December 29th for best offer of $18 uh, with free shipping so it sold after Christmas. She'd had it about a year. She paid a dollar for it. And let's see what this is. Christmas wall decor applique quilted hoop nativity. Okay, so it's like a quilted handmade item of the nativity. So that's cute. And definitely Christmas theme. She paid a dollar. It sold for $18 and it sold on December 29th. All right, Mark Sherrill paid a few cents as a part of a large lot of vintage Christmas bulbs. Sold for $20 plus $4 shipping. This is vintage GE replacement bulbs. So they're like funky, crystally kind of textured bulbs and this was part of a lot he sold for 20 bucks plus four dollars shipping so there you go all right mary sold this about an hour ago and obviously this is in january at some point um, i don't have the date had it for about a month paid 29 cents at goodwill and it is a fitz and floyd holiday leaves christmas coffee mug Definitely very Christmassy. Oh, she posted this on January 2nd. And so, who knows? Maybe somebody broke this at their Christmas party and they're replacing it. Or maybe they just always look for them because they're adding to their collection. Or maybe their mom had one and hers broke and she was sending it to her as a gift. You just never know. Um, sometimes I ask my customers. I'll say, hey, I'm glad you got your item. This was very interesting. Can I ask why you bought it? And they'll tell you. They'll say, I had one, but it broke. Or we moved and it got lost in the move. Or I love this and I wanted to get my daughter one. Or whatever it is. So um, if you really want to know, if something doesn't make sense to you, just ask your customer in a nice way, hey, um, what'd you buy this for? I'm curious to know. It helps me be a better seller to know why you're buying things. So 29 cents and it sold for 10 bucks. All right, Katie bought at Goodwill for 99 cents, flipped in 24 hours for full asking price. This was on January 2nd. It was some Georgia Bulldogs ornaments, and she sold those for eight bucks, but she got them for a dollar. So I'll take those kind of sales. I wonder if those went to Georgia or just a Bulldog fan wherever they are located. So Christmas ornaments selling in January. All right, we've got KC again. Listed since early November, finally sold January 2nd. I can't remember how much I paid, but I'm sure it was only a couple of dollars. And let's see what this is. It is a Fontanini Italy Nativity three-piece set. And it sold for 25 bucks. And he said, probably only paid a couple of dollars so sold on January 2nd all right we've got mark again thrown in for free as part of a lot of Christmas village pieces that I bought in the fall sold for $15 plus $5 shipping and they're just some little Christmas village flocked Christmas trees 
So all this little stuff that you see in the thrift stores, you know, all the junky holiday stuff that's all mixed together, there's stuff in there you can sell all year. At our Goodwill, they have basically a holiday aisle, and they have part of it is all Christmas and then Easter and Halloween and all the different holidays and just, just all kinds of stuff in there all the time. So I always look in that holiday aisle for unusual Christmas ornaments or Yankee candle uh, holiday scents or you know whatever things like that that are good sellers so um, if you're not checking that out year-round you're leaving money on the table. All right, Mark again paid 50 cents at an estate sale, sold for $15 plus $5 shipping, and it is um, more Christmas Village stuff. So 50 cents and flipped it for 15. Okay, and you may not think these sales are huge, but Mark is a very consistent seller. He's been doing this a long time, and he is very consistent with what he sells. So the little sales add up. If you're getting things for less than a dollar and selling them for 15 or 20 and you're doing that consistently, repetitively, all the time, that's going to add up and it's also good for your store for SEO, search engine optimization, because a sale is an activity. eBay likes active stores. So if you're constantly selling from your store, you're going to get boosted up in search because eBay search sees your store as successful busy and they're going to give you higher ranking in search so these little sales that that don't seem like a whole lot of money are actually they have other benefits rather than just the financial benefit of that one sale you have to look at the big picture of your whole business and what's going on it's it's like a machine that has a lot of moving parts and you have to take care of all the different parts for it to work as efficiently as possible so if you're watching this and thinking, well, I'm not just going to sell something for $15. That's a waste of time. Not necessarily. It's, it's the whole process. If you've got a process going where you're, you're going thrifting or garage sailing or to estate sales repetitively over the month, you're bringing stuff in, you're photographing it, you're listing it, it's selling, you're shipping it, and you've got this process. You just put stuff in that pipeline and money comes out the other end. Okay, we got Mary again. Got the pair for $2 at a local thrift store listed since mid-November. Sold just a few minutes ago. And this was on January 5th. And it's a vintage Snoopy ceramic, Snoopy and Woodstock ornaments. So $2 turned into $22.30. And I bet those are little and easy to ship. So there's a Snoopy collector out there. Lots of uh, Peanuts, Charlie Brown, Snoopy collectors that love this stuff. And they buy it all year. All right, we've got Mark again. Paid $5 at an estate sale. Sold today for $35 plus $9 shipping. And that was on January 6th. And it is a box of silver rope twist garland. That old timey garland that we used to put on the tree that was all sparkly. Um, back in the days when we used to also put icicles on the tree. And that was like a nightmare for the parents whose little kids were running around doing that. Um, $5 at an estate sale, sold for $35. Christmas decorations in January are selling. Okay, we've got Mark again. Paid a few cents as part of a large lot of Christmas Village pieces. So there's more from that. Sold for $9, and this was on January 8th. And it's just a little cute phone booth. So if you're not looking at the Christmas Village stuff, um, there's money to be made in that. Here's some more um, replacement bulbs. Mark says Christmas stuff keeps selling. Paid $20 for over 100 vintage Christmas bulbs. Sold these two for $28 plus $7 shipping. So two interesting bulbs. They're, they're like etched or they have an interesting casing over them. Um, he paid $20 for 100 of these and he's selling them in, in different lots. And so this these two bulbs sold for $28 in January for Christmas bulbs. All right, we've got Michelle. This just sold last night, a collectible Christmas-themed tea towel. I can't find it on my inventory list, but I paid about a dollar. 
was listed about a year or so. I started it higher but gradually lowered the price. It sold for $12.75. So she paid a dollar for this. And it is a little tea towel. $12.75 for some Christmas teddy bears. Okay, Valerie paid a dollar, sold today for full asking price of $15, listed a few days ago. So you can see the pattern here. Some things sell immediately, some things take a year. This is just a business that takes patience and time, and you just have to stick with it and be consistent. So, Gallery of Stitches, Busilla, Santa Faces Ornaments. So it's uh, a stitchery kit, basically. And she paid a dollar and it sold for fifteen dollars and it sold pretty fast after Christmas alright Max has a mug here sold January 7th have had it up since the first week of December it's a Starbucks holiday mug sold for twenty two dollars and thirty nine cents on January 15th so Christmas mug selling in January Max has another one. This was part of a fill a bag sale at an animal shelter thrift. $20 to fill a Costco trash bag and everything was new in box. Mostly dog pet themed Christmas related items. Greyhound ornaments sold on January 7th. So probably less than a dollar for this if it was a fill a bag sale. And he sold it for uh, looks like $14 and it cost him less than a dollar so interesting little ornament okay autumn these brass stocking holders sat around for two years even made it to the car for a donation run once we moved so I've been a little busy getting settled purchased for a dollar each at a Desiree Industries thrift store listed November 23rd sold on January 11th stocking hanger so a dollar each. Oh wow, look at that. $79. Solid brass reindeer stocking holder. Very nice. And it sold in January. So list those stocking holders. Doris bought this Possible Dreams Santa in early fall at an estate sale. I think it was around $5. Listed it for $99. Reduced to $75 and had multiple offers around $45 to $55 put price back to $99, put most of my store on sale just before Christmas, still no sale. It just sold for the sale price of $69. So what is that in a nutshell? $5 for this, it sold for $69, and it sold on January 8th, and it's a Santa in a train musical decoration thing. So $5 to $69, Christmas item sold in January. Okay, Mary again. These just sold. I've had the set listed since September. Got them at a garage sale and a small tote filled with other character set ornaments for $3. And they are the Simpsons Ice Skating Christmas Ornaments, 2004. Paid $3, sold for $35. January 16th, Christmas Ornaments. Okay, Diana sold on January 6th. Paid $1.99 at Goodwill and sold for full asking price of $19.99. And it is a Disney Store ceramic mug cup with a lid. Um, so it's like a ceramic coffee cup that has that silicone lid. And she paid $1.99 and it sold for $20 January 16th Christmas coffee mug. Diana again. Paid $4.29 at Goodwill and sold on best offer for $26.54. It is a homemade ugly Christmas sweater, patriotic and Christmas tree all mixed together. So $4.29 and it sold for $26 on January 16th. So an ugly Christmas sweater sold in January. Okay, Michelle paid $2, sold for $15. And this is what? Um, oh, it's on Poshmark. Holiday time green top. Oh, it's a shirt. Okay. Sometimes it takes me a minute to realize what I'm looking at. Um, so it looks like a like a t-shirt. 
two dollars sold for fifteen in January. And then we've got Cindy paid ninety nine cents, just sold for fifteen dollars in less than ten minutes. This is a Christmas bowl. Looks like um, ceramic, maybe. And it sold in 10 minutes. She paid 99 cents for it. So get those items listed. Mark, again, more vintage Christmas light bulbs. Paid $20 for over 100 Christmas bulbs. These sold for $20. Let's take a look at what they are. Um, they look like, oh, they're bubble lights. That's interesting. They look like um, fishing bobbers <laughs> that you would use to go fishing. So I had to look twice at that. So Christmas lights, again, I wonder what the deal was with that 100 vintage Christmas bulbs. That must have been an estate sale because I would have grabbed that too. Here he is again with um, some more Christmas pieces. These are Christmas Village, little men with boats, canoes and sold these for 12 and these things are tiny so they're really easy and quick to ship because they're so small but look how much money he's making on this stuff all right joy's got something different besides christmas listed since early december sold yesterday thought they would sit until back to school got at the bins for a dollar fifty and these are book covers she sold for twenty two dollars yeah, those are going to sell all year because um, kids are rough on things. I used to have to buy my kids new backpacks in the middle of the year because they're just rough on things. Well, and the ones I were buy was buying were not the $80 book bags, so that's part of it. Um, here we have Joy again, listed in early December, sold on January 7th, got at the bins for around $50. This is a Hallmark Hocus Pocus Halloween plush black cat so that's kind of a, a Halloween thing and that sold in January okay we've got Michelle again sold January 21st listed one year or more paid 20 cents at a book sale fourteen dollars 95 cents and it's on um, the night before Christmas book okay Mary bought this at a thrift store after Christmas items oh after Christmas items Paid 25 cents, listed January 5th, and sold January 30th. It is a Harley Davidson Christmas stocking, so that sold in January. And then we've got Ed and Jeannie Wall. Bought a trailer full of boxes for $5 at an auction. This pillow was on there, listed two weeks and sold a few days ago. So let's see what this is. Oh, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet Christmas Pillow sold for $14.95 in the middle of January. Okay, good job. Here we have Mark again. Paid $0.50 cents at an estate sale, sold for $15 plus $4 shipping. Used 1994 Toledo Museum of Art gold-plated brass Christmas ornaments. So, I did notice in January people were saying yeah I had all those Christmas stuff listed and it didn't sell should I take it down so that I don't have to pay um, it doesn't count towards my store listings or I don't have to pay listing fees um, and my advice on that is always leave it up no matter what because you've already done the work if you take that listing down and you don't relist it or put it back out there for 90 days that listing is going to disappear and you're going to have to do all that work over again so you've already done the work um, just because a holiday passes don't take don't take those holiday items down leave them there because even if one sells it'll probably pay listing fees for all of them if you're even getting listing fees okay mark again paid four dollars at an estate sale sold for 22 plus 13 dollars shipping this is a st. Nicholas Square Village collection antique cobbler and vintage shop. Oh, it's a light up thing. And I think St. Nicholas Square is a tar, uh, excuse me, a Kohl's brand. It's either Kohl's or Target. So this isn't a high end thing like Fitz and Floyd or Lennox or anything like that. It is, it's just something somebody wanted. And Stephanie Smith 
free from my home, sold for $31.99 plus shipping, listed in December after we used it for Thanksgiving last year, sold on January 28th. And this is a Thanksgiving item. Pottery Barn Kids Peanuts Thanksgiving Advent Calendar. So, a Thanksgiving item that's sold at the end of January. Okay, and that's the end of this thread for the month of January. Now, we are going to do this every month on my Facebook group and so you can see what sells in the off season. There wasn't much of like 4th of July, a couple of Halloween things, a couple of Thanksgiving things. Um, so we'll look at what happens in February and you can see this theme is consistent. Um, Valentine's things are going to sell after Valentine's, I guarantee it. So stay tuned and let me know if you like this um, series. You know, what, what are your thoughts on this? Is this news to you? Do you like the format? Thanks for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye!